Hello everybody. Uh, pardon the terrible lighting and the super darkness. We're actually in my basement right now and I don't have like one of those super fancy finished basements. I've got like a basement full of crap with an old oil tank that they would have to cut up to take away. So they didn't. Anyway, this small corner of my basement is hopefully not offensive and we're down here because of this giant wonderful monstrosity. Um, this is the HFS Hardware Factory Store A4 Heavy Duty Paper Cutter. As you can see, it's got all kinds of fancy features. I put this tape here. This doesn't come on here. I don't actually need it, though, so whew. here you can see it in all of its glory. It's uh, got some cool features like this thing here. <laughs> I assume that's to hold paper if it's like coming way through the edge, but I don't ever have, I don't ever cut paper that long. I... Long story short, was looking, hello kitty cat, I was looking for a solution for creating traveler's notebooks with an evenly cut edge because I was driving myself insane trying to do it with a, a, a knife and a, a safety ruler. That just never quite worked out. I have, you know, the slide cutters and you're like, oh, I go to Joanne Fabrics and I get a slide cutter so I can cut one piece of freaking cardstock. Like, that's not what we're all about here in the DIY space. Uh, but you got to invest in the right tools to do the job well. So I, after looking, <clears throat> I'm sorry, after salivating over $3,000 stack cutters that were way more than I needed and despairing because the guillotine cutters were boasting a 15 sheet capacity as if that was a big deal, I finally landed on this guy. Uh, so hardwarefactorystore.com. I got mine off Amazon, um, but I'm sure that with their website on there, you could probably buy it direct from them. This is the A4 size paper cutter. So uh, what we've got here, hello kitty cat, is a very vocal kitty cat. We've got, uh, I'm gonna move you so this might jiggle a bit, hang tight. We've got a lever. Up here, let me uh, actually undo you from the brace here so I can take you on a little tour. We've got a lever and a bunch of, well, that's the box for my Furbo. <laughs> anyway, so this giant lever here is what you pull. There's a safety catch, so you can't pull it without um, pressing the button. Or lifting the button, or hold on. Ah, I need two hands to do it, but anyway, there is a way. <laughs> Oh, it's because it's partially engaged. So you press that button and then this moves ah, freely. God, this is the worst video. I'm really sorry. I just, I can't put this upstairs because there's nowhere for it to live. I needed a table in the basement because there's no space upstairs, but I don't care because I love it. So uh, this thing has a knob to tighten and loosen. You can move it to hold your paper at an edge, which I find super useful. Then in here, there's a toolbox which I think it's cute that it actually says toolbox. Isn't that cute? So in here, I just have the Allen wrenches that it came with. There's a big one and a small one. I'm not sure yet what the small one is for, but I'm sure I'll find out eventually. I, I only kind of skimmed the instructions. The big one is for adjusting this knob here. Uh, when it when it comes in the pack to save space, this is actually reversed. You have to remove it and um, put it back on. And then they kind of fit in a little toolbox and then they're always right there. It's got four rubber feet on it. Before you put the feet on, the edges on the bottom are protected by these. Remember remember back in like middle school when we had to do reports and then we would slide these over the backs of our report cover? Yeah, basically those, but like heavier duty. Uh, and then you slide those off and you put on the little feet. So the, so the way that this assembly works here, you can kind of see, and I wish the light was better. Hopefully this is coming out okay. The blade lives, let me pull off this um, shield here. The blade lives right here on the side. And there she goes up and down. So this blue housing uh, protects your fingers, which from what is a very, very sharp blade. So it's very important that you work with your, with your shield so you don't accidentally graze your fingers against what is an extremely sharp blade. Then you've got this thing here. And if you buy this, I will warn you, this side of the cutter is extremely heavy because you've got all the metal and moving parts and shit. The whole thing is metal, but like this is the heavy side. So then on this side, I'm just going to sit in this little chair here. We've got the swirl doohickey. 
And what the swirl doohickey does, you can see that I'm swirling the handle here. What that does is it moves up your clamp so you can get papers in there. You get pretty decent clearance. Like you can see quite a bit through there. I'm never going to need to cut that much. I'm cutting traveler's notebooks, so it's like not that dramatic, but it's really cool to know that it's got a significantly awesome capacity. So now I'm going to put you back on the mount here so you can see this thing in action. Now, one of the biggest problems that I had while cutting traveler's notebook inserts is that the edge is just crappy because you have to make several passes. Um, with the slide cutter and then the edges never come out right or you know you god forbid you slip a little bit on with with the safety knife or the roller slips and it's just it's just for somebody who likes straight lines and squared things as much as I do it's really important to have a straight edge so this notebook is made with 52 GSM uh, Tomoe River paper with an 80 pound cardstock cover so Substantial enough to be a cover, but not that, you know, not super bulky. This is, I think, 20 pages uh, or 20 sheets folded, which is 40 leaves, which is 80 pages. So I did my measuring ahead of time, and it looks like if you line up the notebook with the 11 line that's marked here. And it does have, see, this ruler in the middle gives you centimeters and inches, so you're looking at the 11 here. You're going to line that up with the 11. You're going to tighten her down so that this leg doesn't move. You're keeping it secure, right? And then you're going to make sure that your notebook is squared, pushed up into that corner so you're getting the most accurate cut. Okay, doke. And then you're going to crank the clamp down. So that's going to hold the notebook in place for you. You don't have to worry about your stupid hand slipping because this thing is doing the work for you. Then you press down the safety button and some of them have a slightly different catch mechanism, but there's, you know, it's good to have a safety. And then you're going to just bring the lever down. <sighs> that's just such a satisfying sound, you guys. And then you can clear out your your paper from under that shield. You can remove the shield if you need to get to it, but no harm to just reach in there. Cause again, if you're under here, your hand is protected cause the blade is all the way back up in the retracted position. So you move that away. Lefty Lucy, the, the clamp here. And look at that. Look at that perfect, beautiful, gorgeous, straight edge. If I wasn't already married, I would marry this thing. Okay, so that is 20 sheets of paper. This one is 24 sheets of paper, which is 48 leaves, which is 96 pages. I'm not good at math, but I think that's right. So this one is so chunky. I actually had to do a, a double, um, come on, you can do this score, a double score so that it wasn't like all wrinkling and weird. So we'll see how this one cuts. It's only a little bit bigger. But just like before, we're going to line it up with the 11. And you've got your guides top and bottom. So even if you can't see up top, you can kind of see where this is sitting. We're going to tighten it down. Ugh. Nice and tight, not going anywhere. We're going to righty tighty down the clamp after making sure that that's tucked into that corner. Flip down the safety catch. There we go. Razor up so it's locked. You can't pull it anymore. Paper out. Lefty Lucy! We can't actually see that happening, so I apologize. We're gonna loosen this guy up and move it over. And then, okay, there you go. Straight line. Stack them up. Put them up against this guy. Straight lines all the way. So intense. So I am super excited about this HFS. It cuts like a dream. It's so quick. I, like, this isn't sponsored. I totally spent 100 bucks on it. Less because I had points and, like, gift cards and stuff. But I don't know. I think this is, if, if this is something that you want to do and you're going to make a lot of your own notebooks, I think this is absolutely worth 
what they're asking for it. Um, so I'll put a link down below to the one that I got. And if you're in love like me, then you can get it too. And if not, then, you know, cool. You do you. But anyway, the HFS paper cutter, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. I'll see you later.